Hey guys, this is Third, and welcome to another episode of Boffer Basics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a drawstring cover. So, I always recommend that you do drawstring covers because it's super simple, it doesn't require hardly any extra effort at all, and it makes removing your covers very easy for when you need to do repairs, whenever they need washed. Uh, you know, if you get your weapons wet at flood again in some year, and you need to wash the mildew and mold out, then, you know, rather than undoing all the tape, it's much nicer just to be able to pull a drawstring and call it good. So, um, after you've done all your measurements and everything, before you sew anything else, you'll want to do your drawstring. It's easiest to do it when your cloth is nice and flat, because you just lay it down, fold it over, and sew. Trying to do it on an already finished cover, like this little tidbit that I used for a previous video, that's not a cover for any actual weapon, Getting it to fold over and go around is a pain. You got to, you have to pin it. It's just a pain in the neck. So once you've gotten your cover, like your length and everything all figured out, I always add an inch and a half to that the overall length of your weapon and draw a line to follow. This will help keep everything nice and even. That's not an inch and a half at all, is it? There we go. It'll keep everything nice and even, and it's just aesthetically pleasing. Um, and at least for using paracord, it gives it just enough room to where it can slide around without me sewing onto the actual paracord, but not enough that it's going to let the knot pull through, because I'm going to add in a half inch seam allowance here. So once you've got that drawn out, and when you, when you cut your, your paracord, I guess I should mention, tie a knot in one end, lay it down, Pinch about maybe an inch or so out, cut, burn it if you've got a synthetic so that it doesn't fray, and tie another knot. Knot takes about maybe takes up maybe two inches, inch to two inches. But your knots really just need to sit on the edge here, unless you want them like super long so you can double back over your weapon or what have you. How whatever floats your boat. But I'm not going to cut this because this is just for. Now. Oops. All right. So fold it over to line up with your edge here and put your presser foot right up against whatever cord you're using. This ensures that you pretty much can't run over your paracord or whatever rope you're using, uh, pretty much. I can't lie, I have, I've sewn uh, drawstrings into covers before and then you have to uh, seam rip the, the entire drawstring because it doesn't work if it's sewn to the cloth, it turns out. All right, so make a few initial stitches back stitch. My machine auto is in an auto back stitching mode, so I don't need to do that. And then get it pulled taut, but not tight. You don't want to fight against your, your feed foot uh, or your feed there. Uh, and keeping your foot nice and uh, even with your paracord, just start sewing. Short bursts are usually better if you're inexperienced. Because if you just go at a you know, 100 miles an hour, and something wanders off, little mess ups like that are big differences. Alright, so once you've sewn that, then you can continue with the rest of your, uh, with the rest of your cover, so we get a nice even stitch because we are running along our paracord the entire time, a nice little seam allowance here to allow for some fraying, and minus a little bit of extra thread there that we got to cut out get a nice look on the outside so when then when all is said and done when you've done whatever else you need to do for your cover if you're doing a sword cover you would already sew this part if you're doing a back cover and you're doing a fitted uh, tip like I did in my previous video then you'll do that first but when it comes time to sew your sides just make sure everything's lined up nice and tight and you'll only sew down to where your sewing started here because again you don't want to go all the way through and sew your drawstring to your cover that is a very frustrating moment as most moments in sewing are it for at least people like me so there you have it a nice drawstring cover uh, if you if this found some vid eh. <laughs> if you found this video helpful like and subscribe and keep tuned for more content thanks for watching